Have you ever wondered about the life of Niels Henrik Abel, the man who made significant contributions to the field of mathematics? Born on a balmy summer day of August 5, 1802, in the scenic landscapes of Norway, Niels Henrik Abel was a shining beacon in the realm of mathematics. His life, however, was not as serene as his birthplace. His father, Soren Georg Abel, was a minister and an involved political figure during the volatile Napoleonic Wars, a time of political turmoil that greatly affected Abel's early life. This period was fraught with personal difficulties, including unsettling allegations against his parents' conduct. Yet amid the chaos and strife, a young Abel found solace in numbers. Guided by his new mentor, Bernd Holmbo, after 1817, Abel began to unravel his exceptional abilities in mathematics. It was during these turbulent times that Abel discovered his love for mathematics. The death of Abel's father in 1820 nearly ended his academic journey, but his talent could not be suppressed. Born into a time of political turmoil and personal tribulations, Abel found solace in the realm of numbers, equations, and mathematical theories. His mathematical prowess was not innate but nurtured by the dedicated guidance of his teacher, Bernd Holmbo. After 1817, Holmbo recognized the exceptional abilities in young Abel and honed his mathematical skills despite the chaos and allegations against Abel's parents' conduct swirling around them. The death of Abel's father, Soren Georg Abel, a minister and a political figure in 1820, dealt a severe blow to the family. They were left destitute and Abel's academic journey seemed to be on the verge of a premature end. But Holmbo, ever the mentor and well-wisher, stepped in. His support enabled Abel to continue his studies, a beacon of hope in a sea of despair. Abel was admitted to the University of Christiania, where he immersed himself in the world of mathematics. He graduated in 1822, a testament to his resilience and determination in the face of adversity. It was here at the University of Christiania that Abel began his work on quintic equations, a complex mathematical problem that would play a significant role in his future contributions. Initially, Abel believed he had solved the quintic equation by radicals. It was a mistake, but a fruitful one. This error spurred him to delve deeper into the mysteries of mathematics, directing his focus towards elliptic integrals. Little did he know then, this field would become the stage where he would make his most significant contributions. Despite his early struggles, Abel's relentless pursuit of knowledge and his unyielding spirit stood as a testament to his character. His initial work on quintic equations set the stage for his future contributions. He was just getting started and the world of mathematics was about to be revolutionized. Despite language and financial barriers, Abel's relentless pursuit of knowledge led him to groundbreaking discoveries. Niels Henrik Abel's journey in mathematics was far from smooth sailing. His initial work on quintic equations took an unexpected turn when his supposed solution turned out to be a mistake. Yet, this setback was merely a nudge redirecting his attention to the unexplored expanses of elliptic integrals. It was here that Abel would carve out his niche. In the midst of his studies, Abel conceived a proof that revolutionized the understanding of quintic equations. He demonstrated the impossibility of solving the general equation of the fifth degree using radicals. This was a monumental breakthrough, shedding light on a problem mathematicians had been grappling with for centuries. With this, Abel had not only disproven the prior belief, but also charted a new course for the field of algebraic equations. Abel's relentless pursuit of knowledge led him beyond the confines of Norway. He embarked on journeys to Copenhagen and Berlin, where he engaged with the wider mathematical community. These travels were not merely academic pursuits, but also opportunities to foster critical connections that would shape the trajectory of his career. One such connection was with August Leopold Krell, a mathematician who would become one of Abel's key supporters. Krell, recognizing Abel's genius, published his works in his mathematical journal. This was a significant milestone for Abel, as it gave his work the platform it deserved and brought it to the attention of the global mathematical community. Despite the numerous challenges Abel faced, his determination never wavered. His discoveries, born out of an unwavering commitment to mathematics, were beginning to ripple through the academic world. Abel's work on quintic equations and elliptic integrals was not only remarkable for its time, but it laid the groundwork for future generations of mathematicians. Abel's contributions to mathematics were beginning to make waves in the academic community. Abel's later life was marked by a race against time and poverty, but his work continued to shine, 
Despite the hardships, he never let adversity dim his intellectual fervor. His health, however, was a different story. It began to deteriorate, casting a shadow over his brilliant journey. Yet even in the face of declining health, Abel found solace in love. He became engaged to Christine Kemp, a beacon of hope and happiness in his otherwise tumultuous life. While love provided some respite, Abel's financial struggles persisted. To make ends meet, he took up temporary teaching posts. These positions, while far from his dream of a stable academic career, allowed him to continue his mathematical pursuits. And despite these difficulties, Abel's genius refused to be stifled. His work on elliptic functions in particular distinguished him as one of the leading analysts of his time. His insights placed him alongside the likes of Carl Gustav Jacobi, another luminary in the world of mathematics. As Abel grappled with his health and financial troubles, his reputation in the mathematical community began to grow. His groundbreaking works were being recognized and respected by his peers. And just as his star was on the rise, a position was secured for him in Berlin. A glimmer of hope, a chance for stability and recognition he so deserved. But fate had another plan. Abel died on the 6th of April, 1829, a cruel twist of irony. A life of struggle and brilliance was cut short just as a door to a brighter future was opening. His death marked a tragic end to a life that was anything but ordinary. His journey, marked by poverty, struggle, and unwavering dedication to his passion, serves as an inspiration. Abel's story is a testament to the indomitable spirit of human intellect and resilience. His contributions to mathematics continue to influence the field, his legacy living on in every equation that echoes his genius. Abel died just as a position for him in Berlin was secured, marking a tragic end to a brilliant life. Abel's brilliance didn't die with him, it was recognized and celebrated posthumously. The world of mathematics, it seems, was not quite ready to let go of Niels Henrik Abel. His lost memoir, a significant piece of work, was found and published in Paris after his death. This document, written in French, was initially overlooked due to its complex mathematical content and the language barrier. However, once it was finally translated and understood, it was recognized for its profound insights into the solvability of equations. Abel's work in this memoir anticipated the groundbreaking work of Évariste de Galois. Abel had delved deep into the realm of quintic equations and elliptic functions, reaching conclusions that would lay the groundwork for Galois's later theories. It was a testament to Abel's genius that he could foresee mathematical principles that would only be formally established after his death. In the year following Abel's passing in 1830, the Paris Academy of Sciences decided to recognize his significant contributions to mathematics. They awarded Abel the Grand Prix, a prestigious honor. This was a momentous occasion, as it marked one of the few times the Grand Prix was awarded posthumously. But Abel was not the sole recipient of this honor. The award was shared with Carl Gustav Jacobi, a testament to the significant strides both men had made in the field of mathematics. Despite his early death, Abel's influence on the mathematical world was far-reaching. His work on quintic equations, his insights into elliptic functions, and his intellectual foresight have continued to inspire and inform mathematicians even today. His story is one of resilience, dedication, and an unyielding passion for mathematics that transcended the struggles of his life. Niels Henrik Abel, a man who overcame immense personal and financial struggles, left an indelible mark on the world of mathematics. In just 26 years, Abel made significant contributions to mathematics. In a life marked by hardship and adversity, Niels Henrik Abel rose above his circumstances to leave an indelible mark on the world of mathematics. Despite losing his father at a young age and grappling with poverty, Abel's passion for math was unwavering. His teacher, Bernd Holmbo, recognized his extraordinary talent and became a key figure in Abel's academic journey. Abel's work on quintic equations, elliptic integrals, and the proof of the impossibility of solving the general equation of the fifth degree in radicals are testament to his genius. His travels fostered crucial connections, notably with August Leopold Krell, who championed Abel's work and helped him gain recognition. Abel's life was a testament to resilience and relentless pursuit of knowledge, even in the face of adversity. Niels Henrik Abel, a mathematician whose work continues to inspire, left a legacy that will be remembered for generations to come.